Could you give us a, like a live demonstration to see how it goes uh, concretely? Yeah, of course. So I'm, as you can see on your on your screen, I'm actually on my farm's account where you can see a, a satellite view of my uh, of my fields of my farm. Uh, so I first imported all the field boundaries, and I also in the marketplace of my farm, I also connected agri router, so I can connect all the. Uh, equipment uh, connection or decision support tools, but here I can see that AgriRouter is already connected. So back to the satellite view, I can access to the detailed information of uh, of my field. So I can find the weather data, precise weather, weather data, uh, soil maps. So here it's uh, texture uh, soil maps, S satellite maps for uh, biomass uh, following of the crop. And then I prepared uh, prescription maps uh, for this event. So it's variable rate uh, seeding uh, prescription maps. So I will send these prescription maps wirelessly through AgriRouter to the CCI uh, of, uh, of Kuhn. Um, so for this, um, I need to create a task and assign the prescription maps to the tasks. So I just need to uh, define uh, the operation type, so it's a seeding. The start date, so today, the equipment, I will choose the Massey Ferguson, and then the Kuhn S Procedure. The workers, and finally, the prescription maps. So can, then I had the task, and now I can export these tasks through AgriRouter. So I just need to tick Export, select the AgriRouter, and then I need to, to choose the endpoint. Uh, so here the endpoint is the CCI of uh, of the ESPRO. So I select the CCI, and then I can export it. So it's a success. It's your turn, Vincent. You should receive the task. Uh, <clears throat> yes. So we wait a, a, a little bit that the task is uh, arriving, but uh, we can send the task, or during sending the task, the CC. Uh, uh, it's not needed to have it switched on. You can uh, send the task the day before, and in the morning you come in the tractor, you switch on the terminal, and then the terminal will establish the connection to internet, and then we'll ask the agri platform if there is something for him. And here you can hear uh, the tone, there is something new for the CCI, there is a new task. I'm going to start the import process, and then this is like uh, always, just press Import, I can see that I have a task received a few minutes ago. And now I'm going to import the task, then the CCI will open the task, will read the task, will adapt the map, and so on, and will establish the connection with the seed wheel uh, SPRO. It takes a little bit of time. And uh, now the task is imported inside the terminal, and after that I will be able to start the task and to start the work and to start uh, to seed. I have here the field, this is the field, uh, the stadium. I have all information about the rate. I have also information uh, about the driver name and the name of the uh, farm, uh, which was added by uh, Gauthier. Just start play, and then we will see and check if the, uh, the application map is the same than in the My Easy Farm uh, uh, software. I'm going to do it um, a little bit bigger. Yes, it's exactly the same map, and you can see that we, we have three amount, 120, 140, and 160 kilograms per hectare for seeds. And if I want to manage also an application map for fertilizer, it's in the same way. I can send directly the two application map in one time to the terminal, just uh, uh, push and play, and then uh, the CCI will send the right amount of each product to the DS Pro. During working, the machine will generate data, working hour, uh, uh, working hours, uh, quantity of product, applied map, and, and so on. When the work is done, I just need to uh, export the, the task, and for that, uh, just press on Export. Yes, I want to export it through AgriRouter, and then I need to select the endpoint. In this case, I want to send back all the information to my EasyFarm or all of the software connected to AgriRouter. 
select my easy farm, and then the CCI will take all information, and then we can see send to AgriRouter, then it's going directly to uh, Gauthier in his uh, MyZ Farm tools. Then he will have access to all information. It means when the job is done, a few minutes after, the manager have all the information to manage the planning, to manage the, the task, uh, and so on. That's very fast, it's not needed to to call the driver, can you uh, put this, all this data on the USB stick and give, it, uh, give this USB this, uh, this evening or tomorrow? No, you do it, you can do it directly after the job. So, uh, as a manager, I just received in my uh, AgriRoot uh, integration, I just received uh, a, a new task from my, uh, uh, from my workers. Uh, here it's Vincent. <laughs> so um, I will not import this, uh, these tasks because we haven't moved uh, in, inside the field uh, really. So I just, we, we just prepared uh, an application maps uh, just before the event where we can see the same prescription maps that I sent to, to the CCI. And then on the right side of the, of the screen, you can see the real applied maps uh, from the uh, S Pro seeder, so I can see that uh, the seeders uh, applied the right amount that I asked it from the prescription maps. So here I only have one passage, so I can also show you a real task, uh, a complete task with all the passage inside the field. So I can see that uh, the, the the variable rate application went uh, well. And these application maps, these Isobus application maps, can also uh, be attached to an Isobus report with some relevant information on the tasks. So I can have here, for example, uh, the total amount of seed inputs and, uh, and the worker area, the time spent on the feed. So then, as, a, uh, as a, um, farmers, I can have a precise uh, uh, stock management, cost management. And uh, for example, for contractors, he can uh, export this report for his, uh, his customers.